Hi, we're with Peter and Midnight Madness. Nice. Okay. Right? Awesome. Thanks, Brian. All right. Hi, it's Robert Mitchell, and I'm here at the 2018 Toronto International Film Festival. I'm here at Midnight Madness for the world premiere of Necrotronic. Welcome to Midnight Madness. Oh, it's good to be here, man. We've been working on this thing for like three and a half years, I think, you know. And uh, tonight's the night. Whew. Well, and you're joining uh, fellow Australian films that have played here, Undead, Daybreakers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, loved they're, ones. They're brothers too, so the Spearig brothers, now the Roach Turner brothers, so they're passing the mantle to a degree. So yeah, it's pretty amazing, man, yeah. What, uh, what was it like to grow up in Australia with so much great genre films and then to fall in love with it and now be making the uh, genre pictures? Well, Australia has like a really long history of genre, you know, like George Miller kind of invented the post-apocalyptic thing with Mad Max and our first film, Wormwood, was like Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead, so we basically just jumped on what he did and kind of did the same thing. So yeah, like we did genre films like all through the 70s, like we killed it like in the 70s and 80s. So you know, like there's a new wave of genre filmmakers in Australia and we're sort of riding alongside all of them, you know, so it's, it's just great, you know, yeah, we love it. Midnight Madness. Yeah, really. First time for me, and uh, I'm so excited. And I haven't seen the film yet. And uh, anyway, it was a great experience to work with Key and Trista Roach Turner, so talented. And uh, I'm sure that they're inspired by great uh, directors as George Miller, but uh, also Italian filmmakers. And maybe that's why they thought about an Italian actress for, for this movie. And um, so for me, it was the possibility to go back and film the genre and uh, in a different way because uh, I play a real baddie. Can you tell me the character you're playing in the film? Yes, I play Torquil. I'm Molly's sister and I'm a demon hunter. And uh, when you read the script, what did you uh, like about it and you connected with the character? Uh, I loved just a strong female character. I loved how crazy the script was and I had to read it about five times until I <laughs> understood everything that was going on. But I just, yeah, loved playing like just such a strong female character. Could you tell me the character you're playing in the film? I play Molly. She is a great necromancer. <laughs> She's sort of the leader of the gang. She takes over from when her parents die just to take over the role of sort of like being in charge of saving the world from Monica Belushi. <laughs> You're working with Monica in this picture. What, what was that experience like? I mean, it was incredible. She's the most beautiful, elegant, classy woman I've ever met. So I basically just watched her and tried to make notes and tried to emulate her. And she's so lovely as well. Like she was so welcoming and down to earth. And it was actually a really wonderful experience working with her. And it's so nice seeing her today. And yeah, she's just, she's incredible. Just exactly what you think she would be, she is that. That's great to hear. Yeah. You play with a lot of genres. What kind of genres are you gonna be playing in this film? Okay, so this is if you got Blade Runner, Pulp Fiction, Ghostbusters, and The Evil Dead, and then mixed them all up in like a massive bucket and then threw it at a silver screen. Yeah. That's a cavalcade, that's like a genre cocktail, you know. That's, that's, that's it, you're film. creating your own genre now. I don't think we've seen that before, yeah. No. So, the, and that's the other thing, man, like filmmaking, there's so many ideas and there's so much noise with the internet. It's almost impossible to kind of do anything original these days. So, I don't know, you know, like me and my brother just bang our heads together and just kind of come up, try and come up with like the weirdest shit possible. Sorry for swearing, oh, yeah. but We're like the weirdest shit possible. Um, <laughs> and I think we've done it in this. We've got stuff in this that I don't think anybody's really seen before. So I was really, really proud of that, yeah. And uh, you're working with Monica Bellucci in yeah. this film. That had to be an amazing experience. What'd you learn about acting with working with her? Uh, just she's such a professional and she is so down to earth and so beautiful to work with. And I learned just, um, yeah, she's just amazing to work with. Just to always be lovely to people, really. What's one of your favorite memories uh, making this film? Uh, definitely when I when I levitate out of the um, portal <laughs> as a <laughs> as a plasma being. That was definitely a memory. There's a lot of aspiring filmmakers in this audience. Any advice to anybody out there trying to make a picture of their own? There's not really any stopping you if you want to do it. Like our first film, we made for like no money in backyards. Like I shot 30% of our first film in our mother's backyard in her garage. 
and there's still bullet holes in the front of her garage that she's still ringing us and trying to get us to fix, you know. So, like, we shot that over three and a half years and, you know, it took a lot of weekends and a lot of money, but, like, there is literally no stopping you if you want to do it. And if you do it and you just don't, and you stick to your guns, you could end up at the TIFF uh, Film Festival. Uh, you spoke of notes. How did you prepare for this character? Um, I prepared for it by... I watched a lot of soldier films. <laughs> so, um, one of the producers, Tristan said to me, he was like, you've got to perfect the thousand yard stare of a killer. Do you know? <laughs> so I like, I watched all these soldier films and I tried, like, f worked on my stance and my, like, gravitas, which is hard, you know, so it, was, it was hard for me, that kind of stuff. I loved the, like, intellect side of her and the fact that she's really good at planning and really clever, but the actual, like, strength was, was quite hard. So I really enjoyed training and like building muscle and doing all those kind of things. Well, for a, a, to be an actor, that's got to be a phenomenal, it sounds like a phenomenal experience to be working on this film. It was an amazing experience, especially because as a woman, this is the coolest role to get and it doesn't come around that often. You know, this girl who's completely in charge, completely in control, who's training the man how to do all this stuff. Like, it's the coolest role ever. So I felt really lucky. So I was like, I have to do everything I can to make this role the best I possibly can. Well, we need more badass women in cinema. We really do. We really do. I think it's changing though.